This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Hi there! How are you? I hope you are being glad in the day that the Lord has made and that you are living in God's love, in his joy, and in his peace. No matter what, God is good. Thank you for being here with me today. As you can see, I have, let me move over. I have this picture up. It's a, it's a background today. My background is me, me at 80 years old. Um, <laughs> that is why I'm still working on my skin, aging it, not putting on any serums or any night cream or day creams. And so that my face could match this look of this grandmother. Yes. Speaking of grandmothers, um, my this jacket right here, is belongs to my grandmother, my popo. We call I call her popo. And um, when she went home to be with the Lord, my aunt had sent me this jacket, and I to immediately told my mom. And my mom told me she bought it for her. And I thought, oh, it it just looks like something my mom would buy my grandmother. It's a beautiful, beautiful jacket. It's classy. I don't know what material it is. It's something really special. And uh, so when I received it, I could smell my grandmother. I, I her scent was on um, this this beautiful jacket. So I stored it in a plastic garment bag, and it zipped up. So when I took it out to use for this audition, um, I could smell my grandmother. I was like, oh my gosh, how cool. Because I wanted to capture her smell. I wanted to capture her scent. Um, she was such an awesome, awesome grandma. My papa was just so wonderful. She was so talented, so gifted. But most of all, she was a woman of God, so faithful. And um, I'm just so delighted and grateful and proud to have had a grandmother like that. My popo was just an amazing, godly woman. And she lived it every day and she showed it too. So she walked the walk. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get some wisdom today from God's word. Speaking of wisdom, see all that white here? Crown of splendor in Proverbs uh, it says that gray hair is attained by a righteous life. So there you go. All right. So now we're going to start with Joe Olstein's The Power of I Am. And today's title is All is Well. And she answered, All is Well. That's Second Kings 4.26 from ESV. Second Kings Four tells the remarkable story of a woman who was a good friend of the prophet Elijah. Her beloved son was taken ill out in the field, carried home where he dies in her arms. Devastated beyond measure, this heartbroken mother's story did not end here. Rather, she sets out immediately to enlist Elijah's help. But twice before she reaches him. She is asked, what is going on? Speaking words of faith, her only answer is, all is well. In her darkest hour, even in the midst of overwhelming tragedy, this lady refused to get negative and speak defeat. She chose to speak faith, even though her mind was being bombarded with doubt. All is well. That's when the most powerful force in the universe went to work and her son's life was restored. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, really, Joel cannot emphasize enough how important it is to speak the right things, the right words, 
and to, to have your faith be in action through your words. Because this woman could have said, each time somebody asks what's going on, she could have said, my son died. I'm looking for Elijah. No, she didn't say that. She said, all is well. She didn't cry and go, oh my gosh, my son died. No, she had faith that her son's going to live and he is not going to be dead right now. And there it is. Praise be to God. Lord, I'm just so grateful for your word and for Joel of bringing your word out for us. And mm, I receive it. I receive it. And I'm so grateful for it. Okay. Now for the Holy Bible, I'm reading from King James Version. Today, I will be sharing Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for your word. I'm just so grateful. It is true. There are people that do plot evil against us, but God has meant the evil for good. So we will hang on to that. Thank you, Jesus. And now for David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. His love is the wonder of the world. Love God, love God, all you saints. God takes care of all who stay close to him. That's from Psalms 31, 21, and 23. When I was a kid, I learned about the seven wonders of the world great monuments to man's achievements in architecture, mathematics, and art. But not once did I ever consider this verse, his love is the wonder of the world. What a mind-blowing thought. Just think about the incredible ways God's love is manifested in the world. In the majesty of mountains, in the whimsy of ladybugs, in the warmth of the sun, in the chill beauty of a winter snowfall, in the colors of seasons and sunsets, and in the miracle of new life. An enchantment of tastes, textures, sights, sounds, and smells around us. All we need to do is open our eyes and draw near to God who created this, who and who promises to take care of us, all who choose to stay near to him. That is beautiful. Thank you, David. And the prayer here today is, Lord, thank you so much that your love is the greatest wonder of the world. Thank you for promising to take care of me and that through simply choosing to stay close to you, I feel your love more and more each day. Amen. Amen and amen. Do you, friends, feel God's love more and more each day? I do. I just cannot say any closer to him than where I'm at because I don't ever want to let go of God and not have his Holy Spirit indwell in this vessel of mine. I need God. I, I need to stay close to him. My life was a mess without God and with God, he has changed me turned my whole life around and all I can do is praise him for it because every day I live in his love, in his goodness, in his joy, in his peace with the family that he's blessed me with. I am so blessed because I know God. Praise be to God. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Father, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for letting us know that you are here. Thank you for your word where we can learn and glean and practice it. Practice these things that we are to learn and to know and what we're learning here today, God. We want to be like that woman, Lord, to have faith and not claim what had happened, the worst of the things, the negative things, but to say all is well because you, God, will make everything well. Even when it's not well, we need to say all is well. This too shall pass. All is well. Thank you, God. 
Thank you that you are here to turn over evil, the good for evil, Lord, because you are a good, good God. You are our good, good Father. And Lord, we continue to stay near you, Lord, in you, to abide in you as you abide in us. Be glorified, Lord, in all that we do and say for you. In Jesus' powerful, merciful, and glorifying name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you. Until tomorrow. Ciao.